Hey everyone, today I'm going to do a look that is Heatherette inspired. It's using the Heatherette Trio 1 and pink pearl and 3D silver glitter. So that's what we're going to end up with. First, we're going to prep the lid with Painterly Paint Pot, which I've already done. Then we're going to use a blue base. I'm going to be using Otherworldly Paint Pot. You can use Rolligan or uh, any kind of blue base. And you don't even have to use it. I just want it to be more of a pop of color. So I'm going to put that all the way up to the crease. Pretty thickly. So like that. Okay, so then I'm going to take my 239 brush and using the Heatherette Trio, I'm going to use Mood Ring, which is the blue color. I'm going to apply that all over the paint pot. Then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take like a crease brush, this is the 219 I think, or 210, I'm not really sure. And I'm going to take the blackish color and lightly put it into my crease. Then I'm going to use <coughs> my 217 brush. Find it. It's fluffy. I'm going to put more of the same color on it. And then f concentrate it on the outer corner. And then start to blend it. So you get something like that. I'm going to take Pink Pearl Pigment. <coughs> I'm sorry. Take my Pink Pearl Pigment and load it up with the same fluffy brush. And just kind of work it into the bristles like that. And then apply it to the crease on top of the black color we just put. And it just gives it this nice, beautiful, purpley, pink glow. So then, I'm going to highlight using the pink color and the trio, the light pink. And I'm going to use my 239 brush. Yes, 239. So load it up and put it above the crease. This is a really nice highlight color. I'm really glad that I bought this trio. I initially passed on it, but I found it on eBay for cheaper than it was in the store, so I guess it was a worthwhile wait. But I really like the colors, and uh, so it wasn't a bad it wasn't a bad buy. Okay, then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take 
one of the duo liners and I'm going to put that soft sparkle blue on the bottom and just line my eyes with it. Then take the black part, the black side, and put it on my waterline. Then I'm going to take an eyeliner brush and I'm going to put pink pearl pigment on top of the eyeliner. Then what you're going to do is use a little bit of Fix Plus or Mixing Medium, whatever you'd like. Spread it on the back of your hand. And then take another eyeliner brush. Dip it into the Fix Plus and then use the 3D Silver Glitter. And we're going to put it right on top of the pink pearl pigment we just applied on the bottom. It just gives it a more glitzy look. Okay, then I'm going to take that crease brush again and wipe it off. Having issues today. Okay, then I'm going to take that crease brush, as I was saying, and I'm going to apply the light blue or the light pink color again that we used to highlight, and I'm going to put it in the inner corner here, just to kind of liven up the look. Okay, then mascara. I'm using Zoom Lash, my favorite. I'm going to try Blush Lash just to see if it's any better than this. But I've bought this four times. They only la this mascara only lasts a month, but I really like it. So, And I'm, I've tried all different mascaras, and this one's been really good, especially for the price, because I'm used to spending like... $30 on mascara. Okay, I've already did my cheeks and my face. I used this foundation. Satin finish. Um, let's see here. For lip color, I'm going to use from the Heatherette Hollywood Nights. I'm going to lightly dab it because I don't want a lot. And then blend it with my finger. Lighten it up. I'm going to use some of the pink pearl pigment as well. Gives it that purpley color that we used on our eyes. Then for a lip gloss. I'm going to use Fantabulous Dazzle Glass. amazing combination. I love, love it. Okay, so here's a close-up on the look.